About three months ago, we decided to make a game in Unity. I've been learning Unity through playing around with small projects and copying other people's games, and I decided that it was time for me to start my first real project. To do this, I wanted to collaborate with my talented friend who specializes in music production. With our combined interests in mind, we decided to make a rhythm game. The first thing we did was sit down and decide what kind of rhythm game we would like to make. As kids, we had played a lot of games like Guitar Hero, Osu, Tap Tap Revenge, and even more obscure titles like Sound Vault X. We had played a lot of RPG games like World of Warcraft, Skyrim, and more recently games like Enter the Gungeon and Undertale. With all these games in mind, we wanted to create something which we would enjoy playing, which would combine RPG and rhythm elements in a pixel graphic art style. We drew up a number of concepts which we thought might work to combine these two genres, and eventually we settled on a style we were happy with. Straight away we started work on implementing the core mechanics for a rhythm game. We stayed up all night talking about the ways we could make the rhythm game fun and creating the music that would be the basis for the early levels of the game. Very quickly we ran into some of our first problems. We had entirely underestimated how difficult it would be to make a rhythm game. Considering we are still learning game development as we go, problems like timing and what the best system would be to create and control notes were not even problems which we had considered. Our original system was based on reading a MIDI file which is a data file typically used to represent notes and music. We used an external c -sharp library called Driver MIDI to analyze the MIDI files and then we would create note objects at the appropriate time. The problem with using the external dependency was that we would need to include the MIDI file in the project's www folder. And since we were targeting a lot of platforms, including iOS and Android, we realized this wouldn't make sense when we built the project as an APK. Our next solution was using Unity's inbuilt features to read the music in real time from an MP3. This system worked, but was a little more clunky than the MIDI solution, and ultimately was not a perfect solution. It was at this point that we realized we wanted to make custom maps. Having all the note objects generated with an algorithm was fine for keeping the notes in time, but it took away a lot of customization and control from the game. So we changed the system to be based on a grid of notes, which allowed us to place notes exactly where we wanted them. The next big problem came back to timing. We created a system for laying out a custom set of notes, but the timing of those notes in relation to the music of the game would drift out of place. To fix the issue, we changed the way that events in our game were updated. Instead of some systems being based on the delta time of the game, we based all moving objects on the same system, which was the time between the delta time of the song. With a few more systems, which would update the grid and lock notes into place, with the music, we had solved our timing problems and could progress to the design elements of the game. We quickly created a couple of levels with this new system, and it was at this point that we made new design decisions which changed the game. Firstly, we decided to change the game from 2D to 3D, sort of. We kept the art assets the same and we rotated the camera, allowing players to see node objects from further away, and gave the game a more traditional rhythm game feeling. Secondly, we decided to add some over the top glow effects and some particle effects which gave the game more juice, and also made the player feel more impactful through their actions. At this point, we began to realize that we'd been making a rhythm game, but we had not considered any RPG elements, other than combat. So with that in mind, we went back to the drawing board and tried to think about how we could bring the two genres together and create something unique and interesting. We started discussing a storyline and creating hubs for the player to explore when they are outside of a song. We also decided we wanted to have an arcade mode for players to compete for high scores without items or upgrades, and then a separate story mode where the player was free to customize their experience. We created a dialogue system and a tutorial and a planned out roadmap for the rest of the game. At this point, we had learned a whole lot about creating rhythm games and Unity game development in general. Working consistently one to two days every week, we were excited to continue development of our game and eventually release it for free on PC, iOS, and Android. There is a lot of problems you encounter during game development, but there are always solutions. We found that managing our time and working on small parts of the game each session was productive for moving forward and getting things done. The most important part of game development for our project was making sure that we were always having fun. Our motivation came from the idea of making a game, which we thought was something cool and something eventually other people would enjoy playing. It is important for us to mention that we have used a number of free art assets from itch.io. We are grateful to the people that have contributed their royalty-free art, which has made the development of our game easier. We will be sure to credit each artist that we have benefited from when we release our game. All right, yeah, thanks for watching our devlog. Um, I really hope it wasn't like too boring and you were able to get something out of it. We definitely enjoyed making it and we'd really like to make more of them as well. It'd be awesome if we could get maybe some feedback if you found something interesting or if you didn't like something. It's sort of an ongoing process of our game, and so it's awesome to know what people want or what people don't want. <laughs> Probably say that. That'll be good. But yeah, don't hold back at all. Just criticize the f out of it. <laughs> <laughs> Can't say f <laughs> and then he was Which I try again. Yeah. Alright. Well I'd sync it up again, I guess. Like. Yeah, it makes sense.